Hello everyone, in this video we want to build an application where we can pick images and videos and therefore we want to use this plugin here, Image Picker. So first of all I like to install it and go here and copy this Image Picker and then go into our PubSpec journal file and put it here under our dependencies inside. And I have also put here the video player inside because we also want to capture videos. So basically we can capture an image and a video from the device gallery or we can also take the image or video by ourselves. And therefore we also take this video player plugin and I also go to the installing section and copy this dependency and then you need to put it here also under dependencies inside. So this is what we need for the configuration and now we can get started. So basically I have already created here a page with two buttons. So one is this capture image button and the other one is this capture video button. And now we want to add the functionality for it. And therefore I create here a new method which is called capture. And here inside we want to get a source. So we want to get a media source so we can decide what we want to capture, an image or a video. And therefore I will create here a new folder and I call it model and inside of this model we want to create this media source and we want to have here an enum to say okay this is a video or this is a photo or an image and then we need to import this one and our buttons here will then call this method so here inside we simply supply the media source image and for the second button, which says capture video, we want to put the other source inside of video. So now we have here, every time if you press on this button, then it is going to this method here and now we want to implement it. And here inside of this capture method, we want to navigate to different page. Therefore I call here this navigator of context. And then we can push here to a new page, which we want to create. And here inside we basically need to set the uh, page route and there inside we have to create this builder with our new page which we want to create. And with the source page we can then decide if we want to capture the image from the gallery or if we want to capture it with our camera. So let's create this page. So I create here in our page folder a new file and this is called source page. And instead of a column we take here a list view and then we want to basically show two things, two buttons. So I sh want to show the camera button widget and also the gallery button widget. And I have already created these. So these are simple list tiles. So here you see this is a list tile and I have also put here some icon and text inside. So this is really basic stuff. And uh, also the other one. And what we want to do basically is only to handle this click if we click on this icon. So let's wrap this up. So I need to import this here in the main library so that we go to this page. And now if I click here on one of these buttons, it will go to the source page. And here we have this from camera button and also this from gallery button. So this is these both buttons here. And now we want to add the functionality here inside of this method. What happens if we click here on, if we choose gallery or camera. And here inside we want to basically make use of this image picker. This is the plugin which we have put inside. And here we simply have first of all to import this image picker and then we can select here with get image or get video what we want to select. But basically we need to first of all know in this widget what we want to select. So we want to also pass this to our navigation. So let's go to back to our home page. And here inside we have another property which is called settings. And here inside we can basically put our source inside. And therefore I write here route settings. So we have to wrap it in this route settings. And here we have an attribute which is called arguments and here inside we basically can put our source inside so he will take the source which we have put here inside video or image depending on which button we clicked and this information will then be received here inside of our widget and how we get this source information is by calling here the model route 
of context and this is basically some inherited widget where we can get our information, where we get the settings and the arguments which we have passed to this route. So these here will then collect the information which we have put here inside of our home page. Here we have supplied the settings and the arguments and this is what we access here. And then we get here basically the media source which we have put inside. So I simply return it here and I also have to import it. And now we have the source from our navigation and now we need to decide here if we want to call the get image method or the get video method and therefore I will simply write it here in front. So if the source is media source image then we want to call the get image method and otherwise we will call the get video method and we will also store this method into new variable so I put it here into this get media variable and now we have here a differentiation between these both buttons if we click here on capture image or capture video then we get here the right method and basically what we want to do then is to call this method and here inside we put our source inside so we can select here the image source and because we are picking here from the gallery we put here the gallery source inside and then we get this media back which we have selected from the gallery and now what we want to do is we want to return a file so I will simply call this media and then we have the property pass so we need to await it before and then we have here the access to the pass property so we get the file location of the file which we have selected from our gallery and now what we want to do is we want to call this navigator of context and then pop and here inside of this pop method we can give a result back like you can see here and we want to put our file which we have selected here inside and what we can do then is we can go back to our home page so to this page here and here we can receive the result so I will simply write here an await in front and then we get here this result which we have put here inside into our gallery so we put here in this gallery button the file inside that we have selected and here in this home page we get this result then as this file and can then show this file in our widget here so basically if we get no result if this result is null so we want to check it then we don't do anything so I just return it here and if we got a result back then we want to set this to a new variable so I want to create this file media variable here at the top and this is basically a file which we got back and I will also import it here and what we also want to do is we want to call the set state method because every time we get here something back we want also to render the UI new and then display this file media which we have selected in our UI and therefore I go here over the buttons and over the buttons I want to simply display this file which we have selected so basically what we want to do here is we want to show depending on the file if we have one so if we have no file then we simply want to show an icon of a photo or something and then you can set here size so I take for example 120 and for the second case if we have a file here then we want to show it and therefore I have here this image.file and then we want to put here our file media insight to show it so it's really simple and I also want to put this here into an expanded widget so that it expands here over the whole size and now if I hot reload then you see that it takes more size here and that's it what we need to do and now we can try this application out for picking an image at least so let's try this out I capture here this image I pick here from gallery then I need to allow it that he can access it and now I take here for example one image and then he has selected this image here and if we capture here an image we can also take it from our camera so I select here from camera and this is what we need to implement I guess therefore if we go here into camera button widget you see we have no functionality here inside 
So basically what we want to do is we want to use this here and modify it a little bit. So we can import here everything and also the image picker and also this file. And basically one thing what we want to change here is only to change the source from gallery to camera because we want to pick it from the camera. And now you can hot restart and then we can try it again. So if I click here on capture image and from camera, this time this will be executed here, then we need to allow it. And then we basically can take here an image and then we select here that we want to keep it. And then you see that we have selected this image here. And now we need to handle also the case for videos. So basically this should also work because it's the same functionality here inside. But what we missed here is that we right now show here in our home page, this page here, only right now image.file. And how we can do this is by first of all adding here a new property which is called media source and source. So we want to know which source which we have selected if we pressed on this button. Then every time we capture here something and click on this button, we want to remember this, what we have selected. So I will put this here into the source property. And every time we press here on capture, I will also delete the current file which we have. So I set it here to null. Then this image will not be shown anymore if we click here. So now if I hot restart it and capture a new image, so I select it from the gallery and I take for example this image here. And now if I press this again and go back, then you see that this image is gone because we have set it here to null. And that's exactly what is happening here. And now we can use this source which we have selected here to basically show our image or our video depending on the source. So we go here to the top where we show our image later. And here we want to simply differentiate between our sources. So we can have here this media source image. Then we simply want to use this image file widget. And otherwise we simply want to use this video widget. And here inside we also want to put our file inside. And this video widget I have created already in another video. So simply search on YouTube for video widget or something and then you will find something like this. And here basically we show a video and therefore we also had to put this video player inside to make this possible that this video widget is showing. And now I also need to put here this parenthesis at the end and I think that's it what we need to do. And now we can also try to capture a video. So basically I will hot restart it. And now if I click here on capture video and let's take one from the gallery. Okay, we don't have one, so maybe we capture one. And now I can press here to capture this video and then I click here again. And then I select this video and now you see that he is playing the video. And basically it looks here like a single image, but if you try it out with your own device, then you will see that you also can capture here a normal video. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.